Thanks, Naomi. Now, speaking of history, a Collinsville man has really become quite the historian when it comes to a popular soft drink. Our Julie Chin has the positively Oklahoma story of Roger Motes and his very sweet connection to Pepsi. It runs in my blood. When it comes to Pepsi, Roger Moat's cup runneth over. If I were to open your refrigerator, would I find Pepsi? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Is it your drink of choice? Yes. Roger's so passionate about Pepsi, he's building his own personal museum. My hope is to have this building completely full of Pepsi Colas. With a bunch of Pepsi pieces already bubbling up in here. I would probably say 10,000. Roger believes his is the biggest Pepsi collection in Oklahoma. To my knowledge, yeah, probably. This is a treasure trove more than 20 years in the making. And it turns out Roger's Pepsi connection is even sweeter than the soda. So in school, I was, I was known as the, the Pepsi kid. You see, his uncle used to drive a Pepsi truck. And as a kid, Roger would tag along for the ride. He'd come back, pick me up, uh, we would run the route, he would, he would take me to school, and then, uh, you know, in the afternoons, he'd be there waiting for me when I got out of school, we'd go run the route again. And Those special memories inspired all this. He was, I mean, like a second dad to me. And uh, so, you know, this is kind of, I guess, carrying on, you know, his, his memory or whatnot. And, uh, he passed away in 2000, and uh, so, I mean, this, this is just how I can kind of connect with him and, and everything and, you know, remember him. A few of Uncle Ray's pieces, like this vending machine, started the collection, and it's grown from there. Most of it is, is pretty much what I've picked up, you know, from auctions or other collections. There are signs, Santas, and so many cans. How many cans would you roughly say you have? I would, I would say there's easily 2,000 cans here. 2,000 yeah. cans? Yeah. From all yeah. over the world? Yes. Yeah, yeah there's uh, Russia, Brazil, Canada. Then there are bottles with international flavors that never came to the States. And check out this NASA Pepsi from space. One giant sip for mankind. <laughs> Roger also has banks and this bottle from when Pepsi began. Caleb Bradham, which is the inventor of Pepsi, he bottled Pepsi in uh, medicine bottles to, to begin with. And uh, there's six different sizes. And yeah, I, I have one, um, you know, that's, that's kind of a special bottle. Uh, someday I hope to have all six of them. It seems Rogers found the joy of Pepsi, and this pop is hopeful his kids will buy into the Pepsi challenge someday. My youngest, she's the one that, you know, is, I think, going to follow in my footsteps and, you know, enjoy this and, and take it to the next level. Because for Roger, this is about more than Pepsi. It's a toast to the sweet life and the uncle who taught him to drink it all in. I tell people all the time, I grew up on a Pepsi-Cola truck, and, you know, I, I literally did. In Collinsville, Julie Chin, 2 News, Oklahoma. Isn't that amazing? Now, Roger says as he continues adding to his collection, he might even be willing to share it with the public someday. We'll keep you posted on that.